prioritizing what's a view, what's analytics. Um, um, Jim Lauterbach is, is pretty outspoken about the need for some consensus and some standardization. And I know, um, you know TubeMobile is, is, is a leader in that area. Oh, thanks. <laughs> so what, what's, what's kind of the general thinking on that is in terms of are we there yet? You touched on it a little bit. I think, yeah, the technology sure is. I mean, we can tell you exactly how long someone watched before clicking away. You know, we're trying to put out more benchmark data on what good, uh, good sort of completion rates are. You know, how many people finish a video and, you know, across different categories like music videos, what's a good rate of completion. Um, but yeah, I think very few people, like I met a guy who was, um, it was after the election, the presidential election, it was John McCain's media buyer. He's a guy in charge of buying, you know, millions and millions of dollars in TV ads. And like, he didn't know that, um, he thought I was wrong actually. I told him about our research that, you know, like a view is counted on almost any video site as soon as someone clicks play. And that's pretty much a standard throughout the industry. I mean, it's, it's not necessarily that profound. I mean, everyone knows kind of as soon as a stream starts, um, that's when a view is counted. Um, and he thought, no, 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 a view is like someone who watched a whole video, you know, and I was so shocked that this guy was making multi-million dollar decisions, you know, like it, there's kind of a gap between what people know and, you know, kind of traditional TV people and like what, but yeah, I mean, the technology is there. We can tell you exactly how long someone watched, what search terms they used to get there, where they're coming from, you know, where they are in the world or within the United States. Um, whether they shared it on Facebook um, and a variety of other stats. But yeah, I think um, in terms of advertising, it's it's getting there, but it's not quite there yet. Louderback's been very articulate on the matter. And, you know, he only counts a view for an advertiser if someone watches the whole thing. You know, and I think, um, not to drone on about it, but, you know, we, we did some other research where we looked at kind of drop-off rates for pre-roll ads. You know, all the ad advertising campaigns we run, we don't, we don't put videos in videos. We don't do in-stream advertising. We only do kind of advertising as standalone content. So, you know, like kind of a video player, click-to-play video player that's a featured video on a publisher page or within Facebook, a Facebook, uh, you know, application. That, that's how we, we serve the ads. But, um, you know, if you if you put it a video in front of it, if you put in like a 15 second pre-roll clip, um, the click away rates just during the pre-roll before the content even starts, the content they came there to watch is really high. Um, you know, TV clips are pretty low; only about 10 percent will click away during an ad. And just I don't want to watch the content; screw it, I'm going to click away from the ad. But like uh, magazines and newspapers is about 25 percent. You go to like a video sharing site, uh, and it's much much higher it can be as much as like half you know so um that there's an interesting fold there i i've already forgotten the original question i, I think i'm being a politician I <laughs> well, the original question was are we are we anywhere near consensus of what is a view and you, you know it, it doesn't sound like i guess i'm saying no yeah yeah <laughs> Well, I mean, uh, I mean, video sites are, I mean, there is kind of a, a consensus around the industry about when to count a view. Yeah. That's just a stream, you know, it's kind of like a, but I think there's also consensus that that's obviously not enough um, for reasons I was just outlining, you know, pre-roll ads, you're clicking away. When do you count the impression? You know, they all think in impressions. Um, and, but I think the technology is there to track it, but, but sort of benchmarking and all that kind of stuff is just the beginning. You know, we've sent video completion rates on ad campaigns we were a part of to advertisers, and they're like, we've never seen this data before. You know, like the, no one else has given us this like, data before. And so I think benchmarking it is, is something that's newer, but I mean, the technology is sure there. Well, with the real-time um, analytics, it, it, it's no longer just reporting, it is analytics, and the fact that you could have an ad campaign that could respond to that, and we're pulling those ads, they're not working, the people are clicking away. That's really powerful. Yeah, and we've had like uh, big marketing agencies like 
kind of shift strategy halfway through a campaign because they saw certain videos had fall off rates that were higher than others. And they're like, oh, you know, they like fashion videos with certain celebrities. And like, sir, I won't name the celebrities, but like a given celebrity was a total turn off, which was surprising. I wasn't turned off, but I wasn't in their demo, you know, and, and they totally just removed her and put this other celebrity who I would have never thought. But it was really resonating with their target audience. So yeah, it's, it's kind of interesting dawn of a new era of that. Mm -hmm. And you know, one other thing I would add is, you know, a lot of people talk about sort of Nielsen and expanding TV ratings to online video as if that's good. <laughs> you know, like like that. I mean, obviously people want parity between they want to be able to compare a TV, you know, view of an ad to an online view of an ad. But why you'd want to the, the lesson should be expand all the awesome analytics to TV, not the other way around. Why you'd want to dumb down like online video analytics with a panel, uh, like an unrepresentative panel, and you know, like only you know certain things, and maybe they weren't watching at all, when you know in real time exactly how long someone watched, how they got there, what they did. You know, you can find, you know how many videos they watched after that. We know that. You know, why you'd want to get rid of that data is beyond me.